Well, in just a few months, NASCAR will be racing through the streets of Chicago. But we're learning the traffic headaches will begin long before then. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live in Grand Park with just released plans for the NASCAR street race. Marissa. Well, get ready for some traffic confusion, Joe and Erica, as NASCAR heads here to Grand Park. There are closures set for streets around Grand Park, and they could last longer than a month as the city gears up for this first of its kind race. It's a little early to smell the burnt rubber or see the tire marks around Grand Park. But this city is already preparing for the summer as Chicago hosts the first ever Cup Series street race in NASCAR's 75 year history. You'll see crews repairing roads on Columbus and Roosevelt Road already. We drove the 12 turn 2.2 mile course where top NASCAR drivers will weave through the park on closed off streets lined with grandstands. The city hopes it too will be filled with thousands of fans. One of the, the big um, initiatives is to drive tourism to the city of Chicago. Looking at our sales currently, um, we have representation from 48 states in 12 different countries um, with uh, obviously Obviously, 80 some days left to go. We anticipate those numbers will just continue to grow. But change starts weeks before the race. The city is also prepping drivers for a potential for a traffic mess, which will include road closures and parking restrictions. The most significant closures will start on Sunday, June 25th, just after midnight. Columbus Drive will be closed between Jackson and Roosevelt Road. You'll also want to be aware of a road closure starting June 28th at 10. Southbound to Sable Lakeshore Drive is closed from Randolph to McFetridge Drive. And Friday, June 30th at 5, southbound Michigan Avenue between Balbo and Jackson Drive will close. Once race weekend gets underway on July 1st, Lakeshore Drive is closed again between McFetridge and Randolph. That starts at 4 a.m. And once the race is over, it will take weeks to break down. You won't see roads and sidewalks fully open until July 15th. So some of these closures may be familiar to drivers and to pedestrians, just like when the city gets ready for big summer events here in Grand Park, Lollapalooza, Taste of Chicago. But there is a map you're going to want to study. We've also talked about alternate routes. You're going to want to get to know really well all of that on our website, cbschicago.com. For now, we're live in Grand Park. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Joe, Erica. Marissa, thank you.